Welcome back to Meds Made Easy. My name is Tarun. Today we're going to be talking about Seroquel, also known as Ketiapine, Quetiapine. Uh, people say it so many different ways. More than likely, you're going to butcher it. Just say Seroquel. It's just easier that way. It is used for bipolar disorder. It is used for major depressive disorder, uh, schizophrenia. Off-label, it's used for a lot of different things like uh, delusions, uh, general anxiety disorder, OCD. Uh, and so essentially it's an atypical antipsychotic. So the way that it works is by portraying serotonin and dopamine antagonism. And by doing that essentially just means that it blocks those receptors, keeping the neurotransmitters in your bloodstream a lot longer, right? So then it can do its effect. So, and it has, and it has antagonistic abilities across all serotonin uh, receptors, dopamine one, dopamine two, histamine one, alpha one, alpha two receptors as well, which is why I'll get to a little bit later, it affects your blood pressure. So for people who have high blood pressure, this may not be the ideal medication for you. I'm gonna go through the black box warnings real quick. It has an increased uh, risk of mortality in elderly patients with psychosis. It's a very small, narrow window of people that have that, so more than likely you don't have to worry about it. You do have to worry about the suicidal thoughts. If you're seeing an increase of suicidal thoughts while on this medication, you need to stop taking the medication, let your doctor know, because you need to get switched on to something else entirely. Uh, pregnancy, you have to weigh it out with your doctor whether you should be taking this or not. Generally, in the third trimester, you generally don't take this medication. There have been known instances of extrapyramidal um, uh, movements that we've seen in the children and things like that. But again, weigh, weigh it out with your doctor. Um, lactation, you can have a certain amount. You can breastfeed on this medication. They have something called an RID, relative infant dose. So as long as you're under that RID, uh, in your bloodstream, you're fine. If you're over that, too much is going into the child and we don't want that. Um, if you have re a renal or liver issues, make sure that your doctor knows about them to adjust your medications accordingly. As always, don't do poly doctors. Most people have poly doctors, but make sure everyone's on the same page about the medications you're taking. Otherwise, it can get very dangerous very quickly. Um, here's a list of side effects here. Uh, the main things you're going to be looking at for, like I said, again, it increases blood pressure because it hits those alpha receptors. And so if you have high blood pressure, this is something you want to watch out for. Uh, tachycardia, speeding up your heart rate, which again leads to increase in blood pressure. Extra pyramidal reactions, that's like twitching and things like that. If your body and your muscles start moving and you can't control them, that's a side effect of this medication. You need to get switched off of it. Uh, headaches, dizziness, they, uh, there's a really wide range of side effects that can happen with this medication. Just listen to your body. That's the best thing I can tell you. Listen to it. If it's too, if it feels too weird, let your doctor know when you switch around to something else. Um, time to peak if you're taking the immediate release medications, about an hour and a half. It'll kick in, you'll, you'll, you'll see it, you'll feel it. Uh, for the extended release version, the XRs, that's about six hours. Now everyone's body's a little bit different, so it could be a little bit give or take here, but that's kind of the range we're looking at in outcomes of when you can see it really kick in. Uh, because it's working on your brain, do not abruptly ever just stop taking the medication. Uh, you will see withdrawal symptoms. We don't want that. You need to be able to titrate down. Uh, and generally, you do see yourself titrate onto this medication as well. Not always, but you always do titrate off the medication. Uh, guys, that is it. We'll leave any comments, concerns down below. Hit subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. And we'll see you next time on Meds Made Easy. Bye.